Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are finally back with a City Zoo episode. And of course, in this episode, we are going to add one of the new animals of the Wetlands Animals Pack. And obviously, we're going to kick off with the lovely Capybara. So if you're interested in grabbing the Wetlands Animal Pack yourself, our channel is sponsored by Instant Gaming. And via their website, you can get a Steam key for the Wetlands Animal Pack and any other planet zoo pack with a really great discount so if you order via their website you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel i will make sure to put a link in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it now i actually had a bit of an issue editing the planning map for my city zoo i will make sure to send it in my discord server for anyone that is interested in this new planning like the thing with this new pack is that there are so many animals from different type of continents. So the otter, crane and buffalo are from Asia. And as we still have quite enough space left in Little Asia, it is pretty easy to add these animals in this Asia area. Now the crested nude is from Europe, but in all honesty, I'm not really going to bother to add this exhibit animal in our European area because one, the European area is completely finished basically. And two, I just don't really get super excited of the idea of adding just one exhibit animal in this area and I don't really find like a fitting spot for them here anyways like if I would think of any area that I would be able to add this exhibit animal in Europe I don't really think there is space for them in this area to be honest and then we have the platypus, which is an Australian animal. Now, I really do like the platypus too much, so I really do not want to leave out the platypus of City Zoo. So I am going to try and fit this one in at the Australian area. Even though this area is pretty much finished as well, I am going to try and see if I'm able to like make some space for them by deleting some paths and some areas where I now only just add like some trees and bushes. So yeah, wish me luck for that i am planning to like add this one pretty close to the cassowary habitat so yeah it's gonna be challenging but i'm going to do my best for that now the now ledra is also pretty easy to add as we can add this one in a habitat together with the african buffalo at the safari ride in the african region so i don't really see any issues for adding the now ledra in our city zoo and then we have the capybara and the spectacled caiman, which are both from South America. Now, for those of you that have been following City Zoo for a while now or have been watching back like through the whole series, it's a super long series, so I do not blame you if you are subscribed to me later on and you have not seen all the videos of City Zoo. But for those that have seen it, you all know that we have like this huge South American dome, which we made with the South America pack. Like, Right outside of this dome at the entrance, we have like a habitat for the lovely giant otter. But other than that, looking at my little Asia planning, there is barely any space left for more South American animals. <laughs> now, as it came and doesn't really excite me too much, I'm sorry for anyone that doesn't agree with me. Uh, but yeah, I, I decided to not add the spectacle to came in in City Zoo. But I obviously cannot say the same about the capybara. I absolutely love the capybara so i just had to make some space for the capybara in our city zoo so this is going to be a pretty small habitat as i am really using this little area of space which is left at the front of the south american dome and on like the side of the giant otter habitat like the keeper's gate you are seeing on like the walls of the dome is actually the keeper's gate for the giant ant eater which is located on the inside of the dome. Now I did also have some issues with finding some inspiration for this capybara habitat to be honest as I couldn't really find that much online unfortunately so I really had to go with my own imagination for this one which was sometimes a, pr a, a bit of a struggle honestly. 
But obviously, we just have to use the new hot water tabs, I think they're called, for the uh, capybara, as these animations are just too cute seeing them enjoying this hot water. So this is going to be the main focus of the habitat, which probably everyone going to do when building a capybara habitat. So it's not really surprising now, is it? <laughs> now, I wasn't really sure in the beginning what kind of fence I should use, so I did change this a few times until I was happy with some glass fences in front of the habitat. But before that, I actually removed it all first so I could actually add a little bit of a bigger path because I first started with like this four meter wide path, which actually felt a little bit too small. So I later added, I think the five or six meter wide path instead, which does look a lot better to be completely honest. So the guests will be able to see the capybara bathing really up close as they are standing right in front of the water area basically. And I added like these hot water enrichment items in the rocks on the back side of the water area. So there will be like two big and one small enrichment item on the left side of the water section and then on the right side there will be one more I think the, the tallest enrichment item with the hot water. So in total we potentially could have like four capybaras enjoying the hot water at the same time in this habitat. Now I do have to admit with CDZ being so big and, and asking so much of my FPS at this point I have honestly no idea if the capybaras are actually able to use the enrichment items. <laughs> I do think so as the traversal area goes through the water and I, I didn't really have any issues with like the overview video of the pack with the water section and the capybara so I do think that it's working uh, but hopefully I'm able to catch their bathing in these cinematic shots at the end of this video but as of right now I really have no idea if they're actually able to use it to be honest. So when the original items were in place I created this cave viewing on the left side of the habitat. This also is definitely to avoid like the whole habitat to be completely open and make the habitat more interesting in general so the guests can really explore it on different sides of the capybara habitat. Also right next to the water on the right side I added like this little building from bamboo which will function as this little stable for the keepers I guess I like to check in on the capybaras and close them off from the habitat if they maybe need to clean the habitat or maybe fix something in the habitat like realistically that is of course like in the game it doesn't really matter but that is the idea behind that little building and this also gives like a chance to hide away the keeper store a bit more from the gas and also gives the capybara a bit more privacy of course if they want to so the cave for the capybaras will obviously be closed off from the top and i will be adding some more green onto it as well this is also to stay a little bit in the same style as we did with the giant otter habitat which is on the other side of this path now one thing i also noticed this one building this habitat was the fact that where the giant ant eater keeper skate is that it is all a little bit too plain and, and simple but also really close to like the viewing gallery of the capybara so I really felt like I just had to change that in some way to make it look less plain and boring to be honest now the inside of the South America dome is actually completely themed with like these amazing temple pieces from the South America pack man it was so much fun to build that dome if I think back of that. So I thought like, you know what, like I'm going to use these temple pieces here as well then on the outside. So it all matches this South American region a little bit more, even though this is on the outside of the building. Like I actually do really like it, like to break that plain side of the walls of the dome with these temple pieces. It's, it's a little bit messy, but I think it definitely works to uh, get like that indoor vibe a little bit on the outside, but not not too much if that makes any sense. But this also made me feel like I should maybe add some more temple pieces in the habitat itself of the capybaras to all make it like match and blend in a little bit more. So I did add like these broken temple pieces a little bit throughout the whole habitat as well and I really do like how this has turned out in the end even though it's something I, I mostly try to avoid to go too much thematic on the outside. I, I, I'm really happy that I just broke that rule basically and just went a little bit more thematic for this habitat and on the outside. 
So on the left side of the cave, there was still like this area I didn't really have any idea for until I realized I could maybe play around a little bit with like the aquatic rock stair pieces. Like this definitely helped a bit to make this area on the left side look a little bit more interesting in my opinion. And I'm also really happy how this area has turned out in the end. I wasn't really happy with it at first, but yeah, I, I think this little staircase definitely did the trick for this left side area of the habitat. As always, the rest of the habitat build was me just placing down like a lot of the aquatic rugs and also like trying to combine mostly temperate European trees and bushes with a few of the more tropical plants to get a nice mixture in the habitat. Like this zoo is located in Europe, so like the rest of the zoo, I do like to stick with mostly the plants that like match this continent and biome. So that is why we are not going completely tropical in this habitat either. Like this still is an out outdoor habitat so we can't go like too crazy tropical like we did with the South American Dome I'm afraid but I would have loved to add like the copybira in the South American Dome but I, I just don't have space for that unfortunately. <laughs> but I think we definitely have a really nice habitat here for the copybira for them to enjoy some nice bathing and I am obviously very curious what do you all think of this copybira habitat in our city zoo and what do you of course think of the wetlands animal pack? Do let me know in the comments down below and also do tell me what is your most favorite animal of the pack so far. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and if this video inspires you for your own builds. And of course, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're looking for more Planet Zoo inspiration, I definitely have you covered on the channel. Also, do not forget to check out Instant Gaming for some nice discounts on the Wetlands Animal Pack, other Planet Zoo packs, and of course, other games as well with the link in the description and in the pinned message of the comment section. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.